Ah. Hello, YouTubers. How are we all doing? All you brewers and you beer lovers out there. Now, we're going to give the old Nitro Surge another go. I've got a can upside down, someone says, put them upside down. Got one normal. I've cleaned the glasses with vinegar and washing up the quid. Give them a good scrub. I'm hoping I'll get a decent pour. Anyway, let's crack in to the old Guinness Nitro Surge. Nitro Surge. Right, get the glasses on. Let's have a go. Let's crack it open. The first one up the right way. See how she goes. Put her on. She's on. Don't forget, press the button. She lights up. Got my Guinness glass. Let's have a go. Over we go. Try and do a decent pour. You know, I'm up and down with this. I'm still learning. Still love the Guinness. Can't beat a drop of Guinness. Oh, she's splashing off, splashing it. Not tipping it up enough. Right, let's leave it there. As she goes, surging up, beautiful. Surging up, looks lovely. Glass is looking good. Leave it there, let it settle. How we all, how we do it. Now today, got the roasties, gravy. Southern fried gravy. Anyway, we're going to have a go at that. Knock some up. Let's give it a go. It's got a lot of pepper in it. Excuse me. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's very peppery. That is delicious. The light's gone out. Let's finish the pour. Well, it's looking good. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's a few bubbles on top, but the rest of it, that's not a bad pour. That's not a bad pour. There's a few bubbles on top. Apart from that, the glass is nice and clean. Look at that, watch the head. Look at that, look at that creamy head. Beautiful, look at that. Doming over, beautiful. Anyway, let it settle a little bit. Let it calm down. There's a few bubbles at the top. Everyone's beautiful, look at that. Look at that head on that. Lovely creamy Guinness. Cheers everyone. Slaughter. Oh, that's a cracking beer. Beautiful. Look at that. Creamy. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. The old Nitro Surge. If you haven't got one, get one out of Tesco's. Give them a go. Doing a special deal at uh, Tesco's. I think it's 7 50 for four cans, which ain't bad. And you get a lovely pint. Look at that. Cheers. All the best to all you Guinness lovers out there. That is beautiful, look at that. Creamy all the way round. Absolutely nectar. Beautiful. 
Anyway, we'll do the other one later. Just gonna do a, another beer. Next one's called, I've got to get it right. Rig, Rigger Welter. Rigger Welter. And where is she? Is she is Wigger Welter. Wigger Welter. Meaning in the Yorkshire Dells, their sheep, if they fall over and go on their back and get themselves up, they call it Rigger Welter or Rigger. So they rigger themselves back up again. That's why it's named. Anyway, it's uh, Black Sheep Brewery. Anyway, we're going to crack into that. Try it. It's uh, 5.7. If I find an oak now, we're cracking into that. We're cracking into that. Here's my little oak now. That Guinness was gorgeous. Gorgeous! Anyway, we're in the old Black Sheep Brewery from Yorkshire. Yorkshire Dales. And where's my glass? Here we are. Let's crack her in now. It's a dark ruby red by the look of it. Good head on it. Beautiful. Stop there. Oh, let's have a little smell. Sweet, sweet malts, sweet aromas. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, like a licorice, very licorice, dark fruits, you can taste uh, roasted malts. That's a cracking beer. 5.7, beautiful. Riga Welter, however you say it. It's a dark ruby colour, it's got a good head on it. Tastes like a licorice coming through, sort of a, a banana y flavour coming through there. Dark fruits, roasted bolts. It's a very good beer. Good old Yorkshire. All the best. That's a cracking beer. I'll give that, I'm going to give it a nine, straight nine. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, if you have a look on the bottle, see the sheet upside down. That's why it's called that. Very good, well done. I hope I'm saying it right. From Yorkshire. Black Sheep Brewery. Very nice. Now, we're going to do a plum porter. Plum porter. 4.9. I'm going to crack her open. A plum porter. Let's give her a go. Glasses everywhere. Cheers, everyone. Let's have a look. Oh, it went over. Not watching what I'm doing. Not much of an head there. The other one has a better head. Here we go. Plum Polter by Titanic Brewery. 4.9. I probably said that already. But you know what it's like when you get old? Repeat yourself. Right, let's have a little sniff that. Oh! Smelling sweet. I can smell the old plums in there. 
Yeah, nice and sweet. Can taste the uh, malts. Smell them. Anyway, let's dive in. Plum Porter. Definitely taste the plums in it. It's a deep red colour. It's got a nice head on it. Nice body. Nice. I'm tasting like it's having a go. That is nice. I like that. I'm going to give that. A nine point three. Nine point three for the old Plum Porter by Titanic Brewery. They've pulled it out the act. Tasting vanilla at the back. It's a soft plummy taste. It's very nice, like a raisiny plummy. Beautiful. That's very nice. I'd definitely I'd put one out again. No doubt. That is a very, very nice. Got a lovely plummy sweet taste. Very nice. And bitter at the back end. Got that little bite. Just what you want from a nice owl. A plum porter. Anyway, cheers everyone. Very nice. And that Guinness I had, I'm going to give that 9.5. How about that? I think that's the best pour I've done on one of them. Anyway, I've got the one upside down. Someone said, turn them upside down, crack them open, try that. So, I'm going to give that one a go. Got plenty of drink this afternoon. Take that over there. Click it on that one. Easy as that. Don't forget to press the button. The old heart lights up. Got this other glass here. Let's give it a go. Do you hold it at the side? Do you lift it up? I'm going to lift it up. It's just like the pub, honest. It's lovely and creamy. Probably not good as Dublin. It's probably a London point. Oh, getting a bit of bubbles there. Let's hold it there. Let's leave it here. With the old can here. Surging up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it's nice. It's at room temperature. It's not too cold. It goes down a treat. So I'm gonna leave that there. Let that settle. So anyway, let's finish our Guinness off. I'm rabbing it on a little bit. Let's crack the ring. Oh, lift her up. Light's gone out now. Just finishing off and do a little swirl if you want. Finishing off. I just do that bubble bit, don't I? If I could get rid of them bubbles, that'd be a perfect point. I've butt that one right up. Still got a bit of an edge there. But I put bubbles in it, I didn't lift it right. Anyway, let's lift it up there. I've got some cracking drinking to do. Finish these beers off. Watch a bit of the old telly. Put the old feet up. Eat the old roasties. I'm in heaven. I'm a lucky boy. Anyway. 
going to give this this uh, Guinness a crack. Beautiful, the other one was lovely, creamy, absolutely wonderful. Just like the pub. Anyway, let's have a little look. Is it settled? I'll say so. I can never wait. Crack it to this one. It's a bit bubbly at the top. Still got a nice head there. Cheers everyone. Slotcha again. Lovely creamy pine every time. Beautiful. So you can knock a few of them back. Very, very nice. Delicious. Anyway, that's all from me. Danny Old Tiny Shed. I'll see you on the next one. Know what it's time for? Let's get ahead of here. Just all it ends. See you everyone. See you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you for watching.